Astronomy Events November 2022. With November, we take steps closer to the solstice. In the Northern Hemisphere, winter approaches in earnest. In the Southern, the sun is welcomed back and temperatures continue to rise. The November night sky this month is also a time of astronomical activity, with active meteor showers, planetary close approaches, and even a few extra astronomical events we don't get every month. Hopefully, the skies will be clear and dark for you to enjoy at least one, or to get out for one of these other astronomical events happening in the November night sky. If you need a telescope to help enjoy this month's night sky events, we have a guide to the best stargazing telescopes and binoculars. November 8, Total Lunar Eclipse. November kicks off with a bang, despite the first event in the November night sky, not taking place until a week into the month. On the night of November 8th, or 9th, depending on your location, there will be a total lunar eclipse across much of the Western Hemisphere, and part of the Eastern Hemisphere, too. For most those viewing from the Western Hemisphere, the lunar eclipse can be seen early on the 8th. If you're viewing an Eastern Hemisphere, it will be visible late on the 8th or early on the 9th. The total phase of the lunar eclipse begins at 10.16 UTC on November 8th, and the total eclipse ends at 11.41 UTC. This means there is a 1.5-hour window in which you can see the total lunar eclipse. November 8th, Lunar Occultation of Uranus all year long. I've been sharing the lunar occultations of Uranus when they happen, even though most people have been unable to view it, or it's been visible to only sparsely populated areas. However, this month has some better viewing prospects if you're in the area that will be able to see it. November 9, Uranus at opposition. Speaking of giant, I see Uranus if there were ever a time to try and spot it in 2022. And November 8th and 9th are the two nights to give it a go. After the lunar occultation of Uranus on the 8th, Uranus will be at opposition on the 9th which means that it will be brightly lit by the sun and appear its brightest in the sky for the year. However, Uranus is incredibly hard to spot even in pristine dark sky conditions, so it's best to grab your telescope or a pair of astronomical binoculars if you want to see this methane blue planet. Look for Uranus in the constellation Aries between midnight and 6 a.m. local time. November 12, peak of the northern Taurids meteor shower. On the night of November 12th, Head outside to try and spot the northern Taurids meteors. As this shower peaks in activity on the 12th, the Taurids run from approximately October 20th to November 30th. On the night of peak activity, you can spot up to 10 meteors per hour. Unfortunately, the moon will not be at a great phase, nearly full and 78% illuminated. Look for the Taurids radiant point in the constellation of Taurus. For most people, it will be in the eastern or southern sky depending on your location. Keep your eyes peeled in the general direction of Taurus, but look around that area of the night sky to spot meteors with longer tails. November 17, peak of the Leonids meteor shower. As the end of the calendar year gets closer, there are more meteor showers to enjoy. Why? That's just how our orbit works as we cross the debris paths of comets and asteroids during our celestial dance. The Leonids meteor shower occurs in the November night sky for most of the month, but the night of peak activity is November 17th this year. If you're out this night, look for up to 15 meteors per hour depending on your location. It's also possible to see Leonids each night between November 15th and 20th. The Leonids appear from a radiant point in the constellation Leo, which will be in the northeastern sky for most people. If you can spot the Big Dipper plow, you're in the right part of the sky to spot some shooting stars. November 21, peak of the plus or minus Monoceratids meteor shower. For Southern Hemisphere stargazers, here's another meteor shower for you. For the whole night of November 21st, look for meteors from the radiant point in Monoceros. The best meteor spotting prospects will be between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. local time. November 24, Jupiter ends retrograde motion. Jupiter will reach the end of its retrograde motion, ending its westward movement through the constellations, and returning to more usual eastward motion instead. This reversal of direction is a phenomenon that all the solar system's outer planets periodically undergo, 
A few months after they pass opposition, the retrograde motion is caused by the Earth's own motion around the Sun. As the Earth circles the Sun, our perspective changes, and this causes the apparent positions of objects to move from side to side in the sky with a one-year period. This nodding motion is superimposed on the planet's long-term eastward motion through the constellations. It will be visible in the evening sky, becoming accessible around 1813, east, 52 degrees above your southeastern horizon, as dusk fades to darkness. It will then reach its highest point in the sky at 2021, 68 degrees above your southern horizon. It will continue to be observable until around 144 when it sinks below 7 degrees above your western horizon. Over the following weeks, Jupiter will reach its highest point in the sky four minutes earlier each night, gradually disappearing into evening twilight. November 28, peak of the November Orionids meteor shower. Everyone gets excited about the October Orionids. Did you know there's another Orionids shower in November? While it runs from November 13th to December 6th, the shower is expected to have peak activity on the night of November 28th. This isn't a particularly active shower, like the October Orionids or any others this month, and the maximum ZHR is expected to be 3 per hour. To spot these meteors, look in the general area of the constellation Orion. You don't need to look right at the radiant point to spot them, instead sweep your eyes through that area of the sky. November 29, conjunction of the Moon and Saturn. The Moon and Saturn will share the same right ascension, with the Moon passing 4 degrees 09 to the south of Saturn. The Moon will be 6 days old. The Moon will be at mag minus 11.6, and Saturn at mag 0.5, both in the constellation Capricornus. The pair will become visible around 1813, EDT. 53 degrees above your southern horizon, as dusk fades to darkness. They will then sink towards the horizon, setting at 2313. The pair will be too widely separated to fit within the field of view of a telescope, but will be visible to the naked eye or through a pair of binoculars. Hope you will enjoy the November 2022 astronomy events with lunar eclipse. If you enjoyed watching the video, do give us a like, also share the same with astronomy lovers, and subscribe to our channel Secrets of Space for astronomy updates. Thank you for watching.